it ain't like riding out. with him, uh, him I'm being right. a fucking GD. That ain't got nothing to do with GD. Mm -hmm. That's family. Ain't no ride with nothing. That ain't had nothing to do with GD. Motherfucker roll with family. Why Why wouldn't you roll with yours? That was family. That ain't had nothing to do with GD. That's what I'm saying, trying to get to you. Why motherfucker talking about Newtown wasn't GD? Everybody wasn't GD. But that's family. G, why not ride with him? He knew how to be a leader. And he was a little bitty motherfucker, G. Didn't play no games, bro. Facts. He was one of them niggas, bro. That nigga knew how to be a leader. Fuck is you talking about? Facts. That ain't got nothing to do with GD. Cause if a motherfucker did say we was GD, you could still say a motherfucker wasn't GD cause we wasn't following shit no motherfucker was talking about anyway. But to come the truth, everybody from Newtown wasn't GD. So you can go there, count and ask how many motherfuckers on there. You ask me, honestly, I think it wasn't shit, probably five, six motherfuckers that was on the count from Newtown. And trust me, we got way more niggas than five or six niggas. Mm -hmm. We got a whole motherfucking <laughs> project behind us for the niggas. Now tell me what the, what about any like tell me about the violence or like some was there any violence on New Town? Uh, it wasn't really no violence when you come fucking with us, you know, in our area. Like we wasn't we was family in our whole area. Violence, it was more organized. It right was now. more organized. Everybody was family, everybody knew everybody, everybody can walk in anybody's house. You catch me? When I grew up them day, that's when a neighbor can whoop your ass. You get what I'm saying? And then carry you home, you get another ass whooping. You get what I'm saying? That's how our hood was built. You couldn't do shit. You got to respect their motherfucking body. Them was your aunties, cousins, brothers, sisters. You get what I'm saying? They was all family in there. You got to understand how that shit was built, how it was. That was Newtown, nigga. That was Madden Park. Everybody know everybody. It ain't a house. I couldn't go in that bitch. It wasn't a motherfucker I didn't respect. You get what I'm saying? We ain't never did respect no motherfuckers over there, bro. Fact. That shit was family. And... It was crazy because you think we're going to let outside motherfuckers come and do it? So, so when I, tell me more about, like, just tell me, like, some, just, like, like the stories you was telling me. It's hard really getting into I got to get in that mode. You in you that mode, we right here. That. You on ghetto DVD, man. But I'm just saying, I have to be in that mode to talk about it. Right now, I'm just, you know, I'm just babbling with you. You know right. what I'm saying? So, what time when when did Chuck come home from jail, or he just moved to the land? No, hell no, he been in the land. He been in the land. He been in the land. Hell yeah, he had just did a little something, something, and he had do the time came home in '92 on some shit. Woo woo, go on, you know, I ride with him on this shit. Motherfucker like, mm -hmm. a lot of motherfuckers like, mm -hmm. we fuck with you, but we ain't fucking with that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what you do. But Chuck was his own nigga when it came to that, on that end. He he became a real member of the mob on his end. That ain't had nothing to do with us. We just gonna ride with you no matter what. That's our brother, that's our cousin, that's motherfuckers, uncles. You get what I'm saying? Daddy, you get what I'm saying? And that's all right, it will. Tell me, tell me more about your brother, bro. Oh man, same thing. He the same as damn it, like Chuck, bro. Yeah, leader. Frank like to fight. He like to fight. I don't know fuck what you said. That nigga be on bullshit. Dude, you can't take that nigga nowhere. You, yeah, you said that you mentioned to me once before that you couldn't take him out of town. You, you couldn't take, take him to the casino. Nowhere. You can't take that nigga nowhere. You he couldn't take fight. him a family dollar. You can't take that nigga nowhere. He gonna fight. In fact, that nigga don't give a fuck. Wait, yeah, let that nigga get drunk. He gonna fight, nigga. Fuck you saying? Don't step on his shoe. Don't look at him wrong. Don't bump. And he a little nigga. He a little nigga. A little nigga like me. Little nigga love to get man, that nigga crazy. Everybody know Frank. Now, now what was Frank, why, why was Frank so important to Newtown? In the rise of Newtown? Because for the rise of Newtown, you gotta understand, he did shit, he put in work. You know what I'm saying? Every nigga over there put in work for that city, for that, for that area, bro. They helped build that motherfucker. Everybody took something and put something in there. You get what I'm talking about? Everybody, it wasn't just him important. Everybody was important. Name me a few important people. Man, to be honest with you, I already did a little bit of that too much in the beginning, but. I know. That shit did, man. They all still important, the ones that's living. Facts, because they still Newtown. They know who they is. 
They know who they is. And they still some good, cold niggas right now. That's why they still here right now. Facts. They some good ass niggas, bro. What what made when you say that's why they still here now, cause they were some cold ass niggas. Can you break that down to the to the youth? So they can understand why we got brothers like me, you, older brothers than us that's still here in the game. You know how when you was a kid, okay, okay, let me say this. Edu, I've been, now hold on, let me say this. Cause I've been thinking about this. I've been trying to answer this question myself. You see who the shorties look up to today, right? Mm -hmm. Now, say if you unk standing in front of the store, drinking, you know what I'm saying? And you trying to tell a little young nigga something. They ain't trying to hear you because of what? They think drinking you just unk and you a stuff. motherfucker in front of the store. But they see dude with a little money, little car, whatever, woo woo, they'll try to listen to him. You get what I'm saying? And he's saying the same shit that Unc was just saying. But they'll listen to him. Nah, he got a, a chain on, or he got a, and a bottle of lean and a few pills. You get what I'm saying? They'll listen in a, in a, in a, a three, five weed. They'll yeah, listen they'll to him. They'll listen to him because this shit look good. <laughs> but they ain't listening to Uncle who's trying to tell him the same shit. Now, basically, what I'm saying is, G. I wish I would have listened. You get what I'm saying? But going through it as a motherfucker, we went through everything down there, not just me, a lot of motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. When it came to the trenches, he wasn't out there for that. He wasn't out there getting his ass whooped by no police when Newtown was up. You wasn't, you wasn't out there getting that, that bread that we really was seeing back in them 80, back in the 90s, the 2000, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't out there, bro. You get what I'm saying? Anything that he can say, he can talk about only on 63rd. Whenever you move from over there. Because anything in the time, bro, I'm, I don't know. I don't see it. He wasn't, but... He, so, you say he but he was in the house, or... How old was he? With, if I think he about my age or you're older. Uh, he was about my age. He a little younger than me. Yeah, he like 40. Yeah, he should be like 40. So I'm mean, his brother age. His brother was my homeboy. What's his brother name? He got another brother named Cliff. Cliff, you know his brothers. Yeah, man, we all grew up together. I got school pictures with these niggas, with this nigga. Nigga, we been in classrooms together. Hmm. Going to the same school.